What's going on guys? This is Simon from SG and in this video, we are gonna go over how to export WooCommerce orders to a CSV or a Google Sheet and we are gonna export them one line item per row. So I'm just gonna jump into it. I did a tutorial on this of how to export orders um, to Google Sheets, but it would be multiple line items per row. But this tutorial is about exporting to a CSV or Google Sheets as one item per row. So with that, let's jump into it. But first, if you're new here, make sure to click that like, click that subscribe, and all the links can be found in the description box below. Okay, let's jump into it. So I quickly made this Google Sheet that is blank. So create that Google Sheet and you can just have it ready and ready to go. So then I'm gonna come to Integromat. If you don't have an Integromat account, you can see my links in the description box below. And I'm quickly just gonna go WooCommerce. I'm gonna say watch orders. Okay, and I'm just gonna do all orders. But you could filter it to processing or you could do all and I want to get all of them and I'm going to do once. Awesome. So I'm going to save this and then I'm going to create another scenario or sorry, another module and I'm going to name this um, iterator right here and I'm going to put the line items. So we're going to iterate the line items in each order and then we're going to go to Google Sheets and we're gonna add a row. Awesome, so I am going to select the spreadsheet, so I can do it right here. And this is the spreadsheet I created, right? This one that has nothing in it, and I'm gonna do sh sheet one. And right now the table does not contain headers, but I can add some in a second. And I'm just gonna add everything that I wanna put. Order number, let's do first name, last name, email, and then let's use things about the item ID. So then I'm gonna do the line ID, and then I'm gonna do the name of the product, and then the product ID, variation ID, and quantity. And I also could do total if I wanted to. Okay, so now that we have these things set up, I'm gonna click save, okay, and then I'm just gonna populate this row just as an example so we have something in the table header. So you don't necessarily need to populate this. So I'm just gonna keep it like this just to show you guys and then I'm gonna run this scenario. Cool, so I have this and I'm gonna update this to once. And right now we have one. So let me just do this and I could also add something here, you know, status equal to processing. I could add filters like this in Ingramat, which is pretty cool. But I'm not gonna add a filter right now. I just wanna run this. So let's run this once. And if I come back to my Google Sheet, I can see that it was added, right? So this must be, you know, emails right here, last names right here, first names right here. And I can also see the results right here. Okay, so I can see these. And um, if I come down here, I can also see what was this last one, quantity and total. So, okay, cool. So we have, sorry, this is the quantity. So I'm just gonna run this with um, more orders because you can see right here, this order only had one, one line item for two quantity, right? You can see right here, this was the only line item in the order. So I'm just gonna run these for all of my orders. Okay, so let's just do like 100 or you can do more than that, you know, you can do like a thousand or whatever it is, all your orders. And I'm just gonna click run once and this is going to do each order and then iterate on each line item and create a new row. So you can see how it's going right now. It has 12 but 19 and it keeps going up. It's adding a row for each line item in the order. Awesome, so I can see that there should be 59 rows that have been added. And if I come here, I can see that all of these have been added. And you can see that, you know, 285, we have um, three line items in that order, 285. You know, if I come down here to order 285, right? Order 285, 
we have three line items in this order and 285 three line items or three rows because the order had three line items it's going to name all these products that were in that order and it's doing this for each order so that is how to export orders um, with each row per line item um, in WooCommerce. And I could also easily just go download CSV or I could download you an Excel file or TSV, whatever you needed to do this format in. And if you're curious about more about Integromat, you find that link in the description box below, as well as how to connect to Integromat. I have another video for that I will link, but, but essentially you just need to go to WooCommerce settings, click advance, click REST API and add new keys. So let me just, you know, this is for example, and you could just copy these keys and put them in Integromat to use them. So that is how to export orders using Integromat one row per line item. Hope you guys got value out of this tutorial. If you did, give me a thumbs up, click that like, and the road to 3,000 subscribers. Thanks again for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.